a woman, a mother, found me in the interval of a mental health spoken word show. Shoulders as thin as her fading smile, she thanks me for my words and I never know how to respond to that. And she tells me that her son has been hurting himself again and I don't know how to respond to that. And she's looking at me. Her eyes are filled with questions. I realise she's looking to me for answers and I don't know how to respond to that. I stress, panic, because I'm not a doctor, therapist, counsellor, qualified in any way, but she's smiling and she looks at me, takes my hand and asks me what she should do. What should a mother do when their child is hurting themselves? One, be there. Two, understand this was never your fight. You are the coach. And yes, you stand there with towel in hand and you've never felt more like throwing it in than when you're watching your boy get bloodied, but you know if you give up now, they will never forgive you. Three, do not raise your voice. Get mad, but don't show it. There's a voice in their head that tells them they're wrong. Don't give them a way to visualise it. Four, be there when they need you. Five, be close by when they don't. Six, sometimes asking if someone is okay is a reminder that they aren't or have not or will not be okay. This woman, mother, learned to change her language from daughter to son, so I ask her to change it again. Replace are you okays with what do you need? Closed questions will open old wounds like a saw blade seven. Please don't ask poets potentially life-changing questions. Eight. My mother never hid the sharp objects. Never had to. Only glass bottles or metal cans. I would advise you do not make your child improvise. Nine. Get help. For them. And for you. Talk openly. Tell them about your own struggles. Encourage them to do the same. Get sad if they don't, but don't show it. Give them that space. See what they create. Ten. Don't expect too much too soon. If it's to get better, well, that means it's been worse. But I promise, it can get better. <laughs>